Good evening, everybody. I hope you've had a great day. Many of you are at home for the first time, and as we begin to adjust to the new normal in our lives. Thank you for coming back and checking in with us today. We'll continue these briefings at 6 p.m. every day for the foreseeable future. You can also get this live streamed on the City Cable channel. As you recall, yesterday we announced a mandate, mandated reduction in capacity for public buildings, restaurants, bars, and many others to 50% of their occupancy and a maximum of 125 people at any time. In each step of this process, we've been consulting with the experts and we've been looking at doing this with our community and not to the community. We know these are incredibly unsettling times. I mentioned yesterday these are times with a lot of fear. We're trying to make it better. Today, the fire chief and I met with the head of fire prevention and life safety, and he reported good compliance with yesterday's mandates. No overcrowding issues, great social distancing protocol, implementation of cleaning and sanitation products and practices, and many restaurants and bars have already transitioned to carry out or delivery. Everybody knows this is a fluid situation that's continuing to evolve. For that reason, I'm announcing that within the next 24 hours, you will see the City of Fort Worth enact tighter restrictions on public spaces and public buildings. Specifically, we will be announcing that we're moving all bars and restaurants to takeout and delivery only. We are closely evaluating other guidelines that the CDC has recommended. We do need to make improvements in our social distancing plans that are vital for all our restaurants, for all our residents, and grocery stores, pharmacies, and others really need to think about social distancing. We are encouraging our grocery stores to become more diligent on social distancing. Everybody needs to be able to shop, but you need a great distance between you. We will be likely directing code and fire inspection staff to focus on enforcing social distancing in high traffic areas, such as big boxes and grocery stores. These steps are critical as all of us move to keep this virus in control and to flatten the curb. Code and Fire Inspection staff has already been proactively talking to our business establishments about our current protocols and about potential changes for the future. Fortunately, many Fort Worth businesses and residents have made voluntary and significant changes in their daily life. You are practicing social distancing. You're staying at home with your family, but we need additional efforts for you parents, talk to your teenagers. If you have college students, talk to them. They need to be a part of the social distancing. It's critical that everyone practice this if we're gonna slow this virus. Once again, we are urging everybody to take personal responsibility. If you must go out, and you will have to go out occasionally, remember, cover your mouth when you cough, wash your hands, and stay at three to five feet away from others. Let me remind this community that we are not doing this in a vacuum. We are listening closely to public health, to medical professionals, and to the CDC. And we're weighing out what works best for our community, the city of Fort Worth. Educated decisions as these critically changing, constantly changing times. Brandon Bennett, our Code Director and Public Health Authority, is with us tonight, and I'm going to turn it over to him to talk to you just a little bit about a couple of issues. Brandon? Good evening. I, I want to assure the public that there are a number of efforts that have been occurring both in the public and uh, behind the scenes, particularly with our restaurant and our bars. and so. Uh, we knew a week ago that our places of public gathering, uh, particularly restaurants and bars, were, were some of the more high-risk areas. And so we started uh, providing helpful information, providing some guidance, 
Uh, you saw that uh, from the national level and the, the regional level that we started saying you need to start bringing your numbers down, start helping with social distancing. And then over the, the, the past uh, few days, you've seen a number of declarations that have come out both from the county and from the city, uh, forcing those numbers, uh, gathering numbers to be even lower. And, and one of the things we saw today, very concerning, is um, our restaurateurs have done a really good job. Uh, working with them, we've been able to uh, work through the health laws to where they can now provide healthy food as a delivery, as a takeout, as a curbside delivery, uh, and, and those type of things. But what, and then we're seeing the restaurants that, that have fewer patrons in them. Uh, one is the public has done a better job of social distancing, uh, and then others, uh, the restaurants have done a better job uh, with uh, controlling the amount of people inside the restaurant. But what we're seeing is now uh, a lot of people that are going to the malls and hanging out at shopping centers, uh, people that are, that are going to grocery stores in masses um, and, and not practicing good social distancing. And so we wanted to make sure tonight that everybody understood that there was nothing uh, magic about, about bars and restaurants uh, and, and if we shut them down all of a sudden everything's okay. They were chosen because of the way that people gather together and socialize. And now that we are addressing those and shutting those down, it doesn't mean that it's okay to gather and socialize at other areas in the city. That no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you have to maintain that six foot of separation. And like the mayor said, the best thing that you can do is, is limit your travel, stay at home where you can. If you have to go to work, uh, make sure that you practice the, the six feet of social uh, separation. Wash your hands. If you're sick, stay home. If you have a sick colleague, send them home. Uh, these are the things that will help us get through uh, the highest risks of this, of this viral transmission. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. I was at the grocery store today and I was doing pickup. I ordered my groceries online and picked them up today, but I was shocked at the number of people who were going in and out with just one or two items, but particularly elderly folks. I qualify as that category, I expect, but I'm talking about people who didn't need to be out. If you've got a neighbor or a loved one that you know is going to have to go to the grocery store, offer to go for them, particularly offer to order them if they're not internet savvy. You guys are great at volunteering and helping people. Remember, those around you might need your help. I'm going to introduce you to Fort Worth Fire Chief, Chief Davis now, who's going to talk a little bit about specific public health recommendations. Jim? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, good evening. As far as the f uh, public health recommendations, they, they continue to remain the same. We're to asking everybody in the community to remain diligent about social distancing, about hand washing, and about barrier protection, making sure that when you sneeze that you're not doing it in an open but into a uh, tissue, your sleeve, and then properly discarding that uh, after you've used that. Again, those are consistent recommendations that have been from day one that we've been working with this. And we thank everybody for their cooperation. As the mayor said, our fire prevention folks have been out in the community. They've been uh, making sure that uh, as we are prepared to aggressively enforce the fire code. There's been uh, amazing compliance today, and we're very happy with everything that we've seen from the community, and so we thank them for that. The City of Fort Worth, in, in addition, um, has worked with Medical Direction to put together a, um, a guide for the public um, should they become ill. Uh, we know there's a lot of questions around what, what we should do or what I should do if I become sick. Should I call 911? When should I call my doctor? So that guide will be um, put up online here um, within the next day, and it gives folks an, uh, a guideline to follow um, in order to help take care of themselves. A couple things about it that I would really like to point out is if you feel you need assistance to call 911, please make sure that you do so. We're not asking you not to call 911, but what we are reminding you that as an abundance of caution, we are slowing down the process is about making sure that we're asking the proper questions to make sure we get you the right response. And it might seem a little frustrating to some that we're asking too many questions. Don't, un uh, don't think that help's not on the way, but the questions will continue and to make sure that we have the proper information that we need to put you in a good position and our providers. I want to personally thank 
the uh, first responding uh, agencies of the Fort Worth community to include the Fort Worth Fire Department, the Fort Worth Police Department, and the uh, EMS providers of MedStar. They are working very hard to make sure that they are providing good quality care to you. But as this situation continues to unfold, you need to understand that there is a um, possibility that you will see EMS providers that are uh, dressed uh, fully in protective equipment to include gowns, masks, and gloves. And whether or not you feel that it's needed, we're going to take that precaution to pr protect us and to protect you as the resident of our community. It's also a possibility that uh, you will not be transported to the hospital. Just calling 911 for an ambulance ride does not necessarily mean that you'll be transported as this continues to develop. And you'll be able to find all that information on how you take care of yourself um, on, online here through this document. So again, I want to thank everybody for their cooperation with the Fort Worth Fire Department. Um, and we are continuing to stand uh, with the other departments within the city to provide a good quality service in this time of need and we are um, dedicated to making sure that you are taken care of in a safe and effective manner. So, Mayor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Davis. You do need to know that our first responders, fire, police, and then our code department, too, are working really hard. If you see one, thank them for what they're doing. The hours they're putting in are amazing. I happen to have with me today Dr. Tim, Tim Martin, who's our veterinarian at our animal shelter. Dr. Martin, the question's come up several times today. What about my pets? And I got to thinking about that. I have two dogs and a cat, Bear, Molly, and Sophie. And what would happen if I were homesick with COVID-19? Can my pets catch it? Well, Bear, Molly, and Sophie are gonna be just fine, Mayor. And all of the rest of our four-legged furry friends are gonna be just fine as well. The one thing that I can say with absolute certainty is there is no evidence that pets can either get sick from this virus or transmit it to people. So we should all uh, just embrace our pets. If you do find, the other thing I can say is if you find yourself home during this time of social isolation, that, uh, that we're making it super easy at the city shelter to adopt and foster uh, uh, dogs and cats that can uh, you can love them and they'll give that love right back to you so this is not a time to be concerned about our pets we always want to uh, take good care of them but this is a time that our pets can really give back to us and and be that social connection that we may be losing because of social distancing thank you dr. Martin I'll tell you my sweet Sophie came from our animal shelter and she's quite a pistol. I couldn't do without any of my pets. So I want to close tonight and I just want to thank you all for helping us get through this, for changing your lives. Most of you have made major changes in your behavior and your actions will save lives and certainly save suffering. To all of you young folks who are going out for St. Patrick's Day tonight, for your green, you might not have the luck of the Irish. Stay home, Stay at your friend's house, drink that green beer with them. We need everyone to be a part of preventing the spread of COVID-19. Let's come together while staying apart. More to come tomorrow. We'll see you then.